the scale factor, we're talking about the factor by which the pre-image, the original, is multiplied to create the image, the new one. Now guys, remember, factors are multiplication. Factoring means multiplication. The word factor is multiplication. Uh, when you factor, when you use FOIL with polynomials, that's because you're multiplying factors together. If something is increased by a factor of 5, that means that it is uh, multiplied by 5. So let's look at these two triangles here and see what the scale factor is. Now it says common ratio here. I'm actually going to cross this out um, because I want us to focus, well, if I can actually cross it out, this is pretty, boy, this is quite comical. I'm going to actually call this the scale factor because common ratio and scale factor are different. And for our course, we're going to focus on the scale factor more. And you can get the scale factor and the common ratio mixed up because a ratio and a factor are two different things. Remember we talked about how a ratio is a comparison of two values. So like a ratio would be 2 to 3. That's a ratio. A factor is a single value, a single number that we are multiplying the figure by for our purposes with polygons. So <clears throat> I'm going to erase this and we're going to talk about just the scale factor. So the question is, what is the scale factor? Now I'm going to show you how to do this with these two figures. First of all, unless you are told differently, we always work left to right. So this is going to be your pre-image. And this is going to be your, input, your image or your output. So the pre-image is the original and the image is the new one. If you guys remember, sometimes you'll see this. You'll have maybe a triangle and you'll see ABC. And then you'll see another triangle and you'll see A prime, B prime, C prime. Remember, prime is a way that we can indicate image as well. But for our purposes here, we're just going to do left to right when they don't indicate it. So it says, given these two are, and here's that symbol, similar, LCT is similar to NEA. And look at how they matches up. L goes with N. So this angle and this angle go together. C goes with E, so these two angles are the same. And T goes with A, so these two angles are the same. <coughs> so now I've got my image and my pre-image. Here's how you do the scale factor, okay? The scale factor is found by taking the image and dividing it by the pre-image. Now that is a ratio of sorts, but we're going to look at it as a single value. So let's look at our picture. My image, 10, according to this, AE. Let's look at AE. If I look here, EA or AE matches up with CT, okay? Well, I can't do anything with that, right? Because I've got the Y. The Y is missing. So I'm going to move on, and let's try a different one. Let's do 6, which is right here. And again, my thing went a little wonky. So an AN, I know that AN goes with TL. So AN is 6, right? So 6 inches, that's AN, and I'm going to write it like this, and we're going to write it as lengths over TL equals 6 inches over 3 inches. Now when I reduce that, I get 2 inches, or technically just 2. I'm going to actually write that properly as 2 because the inches will cancel. 2 is now our scale factor. Sometimes we'll call the scale factor K. You'll see that used. 2 is the scale factor. What does that mean? That means I took this triangle and I multiplied it by 2 to get the new triangle. And let's keep our colors. So I multiplied this by 2 to get the image. So now let's look at the rest of the sides. If this is 6, what is its corresponding side going to be? Well, what's 6 times 2? 12. So that must be 12 inches. 
I don't know this one, but I know this one. And I know that the one I'm pointing to right now was multiplied. Uh, you took the original and multiplied it by 2 to get this. So 10 divided by 2 sends me backwards. So that's going to be 5 inches. Now, can you see how all of these ratios, <coughs> all of these ratios match up? And what I mean is 3 We've got 6 over 3, right? That was our original. And then we had what? 12 over 6. And then we have 10 over 5. And if you look at it, all of them reduce to 2. That is a scale factor of 2. The second one, the image, is twice as big as the pre-image. I apologize, I'm rambling a little bit. Like I said, I'm, I'm battling COVID, so I'm having little coughing fits and my brain's wandering a little bit. So hopefully this is, isn't too um, all over the place for you. So that's how we would find the scale factor. You actually find out how you got from the image to the pre-image. Or from the pre-image to the image. Now let's look at this one here. <laughs> to determine if the figures are similar. So now, instead of me asking you what is the scale factor, I'm asking you if the figures are actually similar. But before we do that, let's go back, and I'm going to go and I'm going to open up a new document, and let's do a couple of examples of finding scale factors, just so you guys can get a little bit more practice and understand a little bit better. Okay, so... I'm going to make all of these guys over here in this column my pre-images, just to kind of keep things consistent. These are going to be my pre-images. And these guys in this column are going to be my images. So let's see if we can figure out some scale factors. All right, let's say I've got a triangle. And I've got these three sides. And we're going to assume that these are all similar. I'm going to assume that. Okay, you don't always know if the triangles are the same shape. I'm going to assume they are. So let's say this is 2, and let's say that's 6, and let's say that's 7. And let's say that this is my image, and let's say that this is 12, and this is 14, and this is 4. And then I'm going to ask you, for the scale factor. And my scale factor, I'll use the red. So I'm going to say, what is the scale factor? And I'm going to call it K. Now remember, the scale factor is the image divided by the pre-image. That's how you find the scale factor to figure out what you did to the pre-image to get the image. So let's say these match up as I show you. Let's start matching up some sides. 12 goes with 6. So let's see, what is 12 divided by 6? It is 2. That means that your scale factor is 2. Now, had I not told you these were similar, you would have had to verify they were by verifying all the sides. So let's just check and make sure. That means 4 over 2 should also give us 2. Is that correct? Yes. And it means that 14 over 7 should also equal 2. And is that correct? Yes. <laughs> so there's one example of similarity finding these scale factors. So let's try another one. Now, I'm going to be a little trickier with you on this one. I'm going to call this one P, Q, R. And I'm going to make the um, image over here actually smaller. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a couple of things in this one. I'm going to show you the image notation, just to remind you, you've got the apostrophes. And I'm going to make this one smaller. So let's start off with this. I'm going to call this 15. I'm going to call this 12. And I'm going to call this, let's see here, 9. <coughs> and I'm going to come over here. And let's see here, I'm going to call this 6, and I'm going to call this 10, and I'm going to call this one here um, 8. 
Now, I want you to look at this carefully. Whereas up at the top, I was able to just match these up because they were the same orientation. Do you see how Q is here, but Q prime is down here? So we've got to match up the sides appropriately before we do our calculation. So again, K, and I'm going to put it over here this time, K is the image divided by the pre-image. But when you do this, guys, the figures are not always going to be drawn to where they match up perfectly side by side. What you can see is the blue one is actually rotated. So I have to be care careful to match up what I need. Now remember, the image is here. So the blue one is your image. This is your image. And the green one is your pre-image. So the blue is what goes on top. So I have to match up accordingly. Well, this side right here, I'm going to put this on top, 6. What does that match up with? Well, that goes from R image to P image. That's side RP image. So I'm this matches up over here with RP. So this guy matches up with this guy. Now, let's look at the next one. I'm going to look at 10. Now, that's QP image. That's going to match up with QP, which is this one. So that's 10 over 15. And again, I'm just matching all the ratios for you. <coughs> and my last one is this one, which is RQ image, which is 8. And that matches up with RQ over here, which is 12. So you can see how I match these sides up. So the triangles are not always going to be facing the same way. You have to pay attention. And sometimes you don't have them marked like this with the image notation. You actually will be told triangle blah, blah, blah is similar to triangle blah, 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 and have to set those up. So anyway, the question is, what do all these guys reduce to? And the answer is 2 thirds. So 2 thirds is actually your scale factor. Notice the difference in scale factors. In my first one, what was the scale factor? It was 2. And if you look back up here, what happened? We got bigger. When the image gets when the image is bigger than the pre-image, your scale factor is going to be greater than 1. When k is when the image is getting bigger, k will be larger than 1 because if we want to make something bigger, we're going to multiply it by something bigger than 1, right? More than 1 times the original size. Down here, the scale factor is less than 1. Okay? k is less than 1 because the image got smaller. We got smaller. If I want something to get smaller, I'm going to multiply it by something less than 1, 1 half, 1 third, 2 thirds. So that's how, <coughs> that's how we determine whether our scale factor is going to be bigger than 1 and smaller than 1. I know this is a lot, but this is just the nature of doing similarity. You have to understand these proportions. And notice that all of these reduce to the same thing. So if we go back over to the original document, determine the scale factor here. This is my image. Remember, the image is what you finish with, and this is my pre-image. <clears throat> so, uh, because I'm not given any similarity statements, and I'm not given any letters like A prime, B prime to match up, I'm going to assume the triangles match up the way they appear. So again, your scale factor is the image divided by the pre-image. I'm going to write this so much that you'll get used to it. So 12 goes over 18, which should give us the same ratio as 2 over 3, which should give us the same ratio as 6 over 9. Now, I'm going to put question marks above these equal signs <coughs> because I want to know, are they equal? The question is, determine if they are similar. Are they? 
Well, let's reduce all of these fractions. 12 over 18, if I reduce that guy, that's there's a, you can divide both of those by 6. That comes out to 2 thirds. 2 thirds is already 2 thirds. And 6 over 9, if you reduce that, is 2 threes over 3 threes. So yes, these, this figure is, these two figures are similar. They have the same scale factor, which you really wouldn't have different scale factors. I'm going to write this just to make this easy for you. But <laughs> basically the scale factor you found was consistent throughout. So since you have one scale factor, they are similar. So that is how you determine if figures are similar.